Welcome everyone. Today finds me back at Walt Disney World unexpectedly. I'll be at Epcot today. Let's go inside and see what's changed. I do have a mask, but I'm in a parking lot. I don't have to put it on just yet. So we had to do three stops, once for temperature, once for bag check, and then once to get in the park and check our magic bands. And we're in, went pretty quickly. So everything is walled off right now. I certainly know my way around Epcot, but maybe not in this maze. No wait for Spaceship Earth, so we might as well go in. Quite a different landscape. It's kind of hard to find your way around. Everything's sort of backstage through the maze. And here's Guardians of the Galaxy. Technically it's food and wine, although they went a little sparse with the decorations. These are interesting mugs. They have the initials, here's M for Mark, and they represent something different at Magic Kingdom, for example, or at Disney World. For example, this one has Main Street. Well, what happened here? Look at the weird colors of Mickey. Although I kind of like that shirt. Of course, that doesn't come in my size. Look at that, I can deliver pizzas for Pizza Planet. <laughs> it's really plain though, none of the mouse gear before. So this is what I'm getting. The pass holder 25th anniversary Figmend tumbler. Kind of a highball glass. I very foolishly forgot to pack batteries. I brought them on the trip. I didn't bring them into the park. So the rest of this is going to be done on my phone. I've had good luck and bad luck with the filet mignon, but when it's good, it's my favorite. So we're gonna try it today. It takes forever to find the end of the line. I think they're trying to make the lines really, really long to allow for the social distancing. So you're walking all the way around the building. And here it is. Boy, it does look good, doesn't it? I have high hopes. I just hope that it is tender. So I'm not going to be eating much red meat. Thank you. And I do have some dining companions right here next to me. A lot of them. It gets an A plus. Really, really delicious. Tender, juicy, just what you want a filet mignon to be. I think that was 8.25. Last time I had that was last year. We were here during the hurricane. And that was really good. I think, I feel like they were giving out bigger pieces last year. But boy, this was good. So my very first taste of food and wine was an A+.
mac and cheese time. This is the lobster mac and cheese. And this is gourmet mac and cheese right here with a big glop of cheese on top of that. Really good lobster sauce. And I guess this is a piece of lobster here. Let's try it. Really good. We're two for two. Really creamy and very, very tasty. It's a good stop. <coughs> Filet mignon, lobster. We're living high off the hog today. Well, that was fun to see. So they're still bringing a little of the magic around. Um, I don't know what else to expect, but that's kind of interesting to see the princesses like that. And this mask is not staying on very well, is it? And then the rain came and everybody ran and hid, including me. This hasn't changed much. Queen of Cuisine. And that is her chef's hat. It's like down. Time to try the carrot cake at America. And here is a carrot cake. Let's dig in and see how it tastes. That is delicious. It's, it's creamy frosting or the sauce they pull over the top. It's so tender and moist. Really good. For the record, if it seems like I'm eating a lot, I have breakfast at 4.30 before flying here. I had a bowl of oatmeal. And some cookies on the plane, just a little, you know, little bag of cookies. And that's it. So everything I've been eating today, and it's pushing up against six o'clock now, has just been what you've seen here. It's pouring rain again. So we're inside the store. But they've got a lot of good Halloween stuff here. Let's take a look at that. Those hairs are really cute. They've got the um, candy corn for the top of the hat and a little bow. Are something new. They're shoulder characters. They have a little magnetic pad that you put underneath your shirt and then these guys will sit on your shoulder. They got a lot of different characters. There's big ones. A lot of different ones. Can you find the hidden Mickey? Okay, it's pretty easy this time. This chocolate pudding terrarium was so good last time, but we're going to give it another try. 
there they are and they are so tasty and they say that even that flour is edible I don't know if I am going to edit it though but it looks delicious I can't wait to dig in delicious it's basically just chocolate pudding but it's really really good chocolate pudding it's got a little bit of a brownie bottom crust on it and extremely rich i think this will be the last thing i have today as always i encourage you to leave your comments down below please share and like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe i'm mark with the average me channel